dear viewers welcome back my blazer playlist in this episode i will discuss how we can call restful api from blazer application for saving customer data into sql server database to accomplish this task i read this documentation of microsoft learn here i summarize there are three basic steps to be performed to consume restful services they are the first one you need to register http client inside program.cs file then you need to inject http client to the component from where you want to call your restful services and you need to enable cross origin resource sharing in RESTful API side. This is the application. I am using this application to demonstrate Blazor features in this playlist. Uh, here we can see in this solution it has it has two projects. One is the .NET Web API project, and another one is the Web Assembly project. Inside the Web API, we we can see one controller that is the customer controller and it has two methods first it can expose all customers from the database and the second method is the post method using this method we can create a customer and this is the blazor web assembly project here we can see the customer form so this customer form has a on valid submit event and this event has a event handler handle valid sum submit when users click the submit button of this form this on valid submit will be triggered and handle valid submit event handler method will be executed and this is the handle valid submit and we can see the inside this method we are only showing the toast let's run this application this is the blazor web assembly application and this is the new customer form and from this form we can create a customer and this application is the dotnet 8 web api application and here we can see this is the only one api that is the customer and it has two method one is get and another one is the post okay let's start adding code to consume this customer api from blazor application so let's open the program.cs file as i already discussed the first step i need to register the http client here so this is the way builder dot services and add http client we can see this extension method is not found here it requires a new get package microsoft extension dot http let's install this package using the package manager let's stop the solution and from here using manage nuget package manager source microsoft extension.http here let's install this package now there is no error the HTTP client has been registered. Now this Blazor application is ready to call Web API. Let's say customer Web API from the customer component here, the customer.register.cs file. So let's inject the HTTP client here, private HTTP client. And inside the handle valid submit event handler method, let's call the 
eh, web API. HTTP use the post as JSON as SIG method and this is the generic method so I need to pass the more type of this method the first parameter of this method is uh, is the URL and second parameter of this method is the model here it is the customer model and type of the customer model is the customer model class so for the url it is the api customer so here uh, i need to pass the base url let's check the base url of this uh, web pay project here this is the base url so let's add the base url here and let's add a try cache block so here if there is an exception uh, we are writing the message inside the toaster and if if the customer created successfully i am writing the message that customer created successfully let's run the application okay let's add some value like abc address click here click submit so here you can see the fail to face from the console of the browser we can see this origin has been blocked by course policy this is happening because these two applications are not sharing same origin they are from different origin like this is the blazor application origin and this is the web api application origin they are different so to solve this uh, i need to enable course inside the web api project let's enable the course this is the web api application inside the program.cs file to enable course i need to uncomment this code and also uncomment this code so let, let's run the application and let's see let's click the submit button again here we can see this is the customer controller the create method of the customer controller have been called so let's continue and we can see the customer created successfully the real world application there will be heavy number of component from where we need to call api so it is not good practice to use base url inside every function call rather we can use this base URL while registering HTTP client inside program.sys file. So let's cut this base URL from here and inside the program.sys file. So inside this HTTP function, HTTP client, we can pass a lambda where we can pass a base URL base address 
length is a uh, But here is still getting error. Lambda expression to type string. Okay, it is saying this is not delicate types. You can pass the actual HTTP client that I want. Here, system dot net dot HTTP. And the HTTP client. I hope there will be no error. So now it's perfectly okay.